Hey guys, it's Tuesday and we're going to continue on with our assignment today. You are going to be researching your animal's appearances and habitats today. So I thought I'd go through the assignment with you um, just so you can see what it looks like. Now I have started typing the assignment, but this video isn't on there yet because I'm just making it obviously. But here's what the page looks like so far. Um, it's got my little message to you and it just told you what we're going to be doing. And it's going to ask you to download this informative text resource. And that li link isn't live because the uh, assignment isn't published, but this is what it looks like. And you'll go through and you'll fill this in this week. And I will show you how to save it so that you don't have to retype it every single day. Okay. So at the end, this will be your writing that you submit. Um, you'll submit the whole thing every single day, but you'll be filling in parts of it each day. For today, I'm going to fill in um, my what I'm writing about. I'm going to be writing about dart frogs, and it's by me. So I'm going to write my name in here. Oops, don't need a capital there. Okay, and today I'm going to fill in the appearance and habitat sections. So the animal's appearance is what it looks like, okay? So does it have fur? Does it have scales? Does it have rough skin, smooth skin, and that kind of thing? What kinds of eyes does it have? Is it, does it have any different appearance than any other animal? Like, does it have flippers or does it have webbed feet? That kind of thing. So I'm going to be looking at some different websites um, and getting some information about them. So I've chosen a few and I've already got them up here. So I went to DK Find Out and I clicked on frogs and toads. I went to amphibians and clicked on frogs and toads. And already right here, I can see a bunch of different things about it. Look at this. Frogs have moist skin. They have smooth, moist skin, and many spend much of their time in the water, right? Okay. They have a vocal sac, which is kind of cool. They make different kinds of calls to attract females for mating, and they use vocal sacs to amplify their calls. Now, a vocal sac, I can't really see it, so I'm not going to worry about that one for the appearance, but I think moist skin is a really good one to have, and this is one of the biggest things that we know about frogs, right? They have these big, long hind legs, and it says many frog species can jump or hop thanks to their strong, their long, powerful back legs. Oh, and look, this is one of the ones I mentioned before webbed feet, right? So they have flaps of skin between their back toes, turning their back feet into paddles that help them swim more quickly. So for my assignment today, if you look here, it says that I need to have, I need you to have at least two facts about your animal's appearance and two facts about your animal's habitat. Now listen, you can add way more facts than what is than just two. You can choose five. You can choose 20. I don't care. Just as long as you have at least two. So in my informative text resource that I downloaded in appearance, I'm going to write frogs have, and let's look at, make sure I know what I'm saying, moist skin because they spend lots of their time in water. So they have moist skin because they spend a lot of time in the water. And then my other one that I learned was about their hind legs and webbed feet, okay? So I'm gonna write frogs also have powerful hind legs and webbed feet that help them swim. Period. That's easy peasy, right? Now we're going to talk about the habitat. Now an animal's habitat is where it lives. Depending on the animal that you chose, it may live in a variety of different areas. For example, frogs, there's lots of different kinds of them. There's actually 4,000 different species of frogs. So the ones I'm writing about, poison dart frogs or dart frogs, they're found in rainforests. So I, I have another website up here, Ducksters, and I have information about poison dart frogs, okay? So where does it live? Right here, that is the habitat. The golden poison frog lives near the coast of the Pacific Ocean in the South American country of Colombia, okay? Its habitat is a rainforest where there is lots of rain and the temperature is warm. They are social animals and live in groups of four to seven in the wild, okay? And I could also go over to my other ones, my other frogs and toads, and I can um, I can learn more about them by clicking find out more. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in what I know about them. Here's habitats, rainforests, right? And I'm gonna put it into my habitats uh, box. So in here I'm say I'm going to say poison dart frogs live in rainforests. They like to live um, in groups and like the wet um, and rainy rainforests in South America, period. Two facts, right? Why do they like them? What rainforests? And they live in the rainforest. Guess what? That's it for today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this again, okay? And it's going to pop up a dialog box like this in just a second. And I'm actually going to call this day two, okay? And I'm going to somewhere where I know it's going to go. I'm going to on my If you have a desktop, that's great. I'm going to save it to my drive. Okay, all right, write it in here, and I'm going to push save, okay? So now that is done. Like, I am done for today. This is my assignment. I'm not doing anything with diet or fascinating facts. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm not even going to fill this in yet because this is what I'm doing on Thursday, okay? So when I'm done with this, I'm going to go to Tuesday, and I'm going to um, submit it. Let me show you what that looks like. Back to the assignment, and I'm in my student view so you guys can see, and I'll say submit assignment, okay? Now, there's two ways you can submit this. Now, if it's easier for your mom and dad to print it out and then upload it in a picture file, that's great, okay? You'll just choose file and you'll take a picture of what you wrote down and attach it. If you did it the way I just showed you in the video, then you're gonna click choose file and then it'll be wherever you saved it. So I did mine, I just sent a recent for my picture. And it will bring it up shortly. Okay, there's day two, right? And then I'm going to say open. And guess what? There it is, day two PDF. And then I will submit the assignment. And guess what? I am done for today. So that is it. That's your assignment, you're going to write two facts about animal's appearance and two facts about animal and habitat. And then submit that to me. And then tomorrow, we'll fill in the next two boxes. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay?